Hello all, welcome to BISPTrainings.com. My name is Amit Sharma and in today's series of Tableau we are going to learn how to apply conditional data labeling. Let me explain you the requirement. We are working on the sales order processing model which we started in the beginning and this is my model information. We have got two fact tables called fact sales and fact costs. This is a subset of my enterprise warehouse. We, we are only focusing on sales and order processing. Here I like to evaluate my advertisement cost of my different product. The requirement is something like this. We are going to allocate the advertisement cost for different product and depends upon the cost of advertisement. It may or may not needed approval from the higher management. If the advertisement cost is more than 10,000 bucks, the approval is needed. However, the advertisement cost is not less than less than 10,000 approval may not be needed. We are going to simulate this example in our today case. So I like to see for different product category, subcategory and different cities for where I like to evaluate my advertisement cost whether I need an approval or I do not need an approval. Do you see the approval not need an approval needed? This is dynamic label which are being rendered depends upon the condition. I will show you how it look like before we proceed further. So this is how my report would look like eventually for different products of category, different customer cities for wherever advertisement cost is more than 10,000 we need an approval from senior management and wherever advertisement cost is less than 10,000 we do not require any kind of approval from the management. Let's see how to design this example. So I will be using uh, my data model sales order processing in this example and let's get started. I'll connect to a data source. My data source in this example I'm using MS Access. I'm using sales order processing and I'll pull the required dimension and fact. We'll follow the model exactly the way it is given over here. I've got we'll take one fact table in order to make it easy to understand and product, customer, promotion, time and these dimension. So let me start it. We'll take fact table, fact cost. And I'll be using multiple fact tables, multiple tables. I select fact sales and keep adding other dimension. I use channel, product, country, customer, country, promotion, and product. And your tablet will automatically by reading primary key and foreign key, it is able to define the relationship. If you see carefully, each table has a respective foreign key. We can preview the result over here before we proceed further to ensure the data which we are bringing it's meaningful to the business or not. Let's go on. I like to have a live connection because my data is very dynamic. I don't want to pull it into my system, so I'll connect to live connection. And I use a product category and subcategory in my column. I select product category and product subcategory. I do not have data for all combination and I use for different customer cities. So I go for customer and select different customer cities. You can further apply filter customer cities. You can further apply filter for a specific year. I do not have data for different years. In case to make it more meaningful you select time dimension. I think we missed the time dimension. We'll add time dimension as well because without time there's no analysis is meaningful. I could further apply this analysis based on my time dimension. So I could apply filter on calendar year or calendar month. I apply on calendar month. So I may be liking data to be bought into my system for a specific year or a specific month. Well we have data for only January, February. Let's apply filter well, we do not have any data so I'm going to disable this filter for now. Let's put the advertisement cost which is my fact. Advertisement cost and I like to evaluate my advertisement cost. If it is greater than 10,000 it should display dynamic label stating that we need a approval. If it is less than 10,000 we may not need any approval. So I'm going to add a computed column over here or calculated column and on analysis create a calculated field name it as approval comment 
and apply a simple logic over here. If the advertisement cost is greater than 10,000, then we need approval. Approval needed. However, the condition is false. If it is less than 10,000, I can explicitly write an expression. If it is less than 10,000, approval may not be needed. Okay. Just swap the column. Approval not needed. Approval not needed. Just and at the end and close this with and and OK. So I've got a computed column over here, approval. Approval comments. And drag and drop and put into my text. So I could see over here, do we need an approval or not? Expand this to make it readable. So wherever you see my advertisement cost is less than 10,000, I'm getting a comment. Approval needed, approval not needed. I'll also add in a mark as different color so people can easily recognize wherever I need an approval. So it is making sense to me with a highlighted color. It explicitly shows me that for the one which is marked with a blue color where approval is needed and wherever marked with a red color where approval is not needed. Right. So this way we can add a dynamic uh, column dynamic label to your report. That's it for today. You can access more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Should you have any questions related to training and consulting, please reach out to us. Our site is www.bhptrainings.com. Thank you.